Hello, you are welcome to I Can Make It. What a joy to come to celebrate with us, every one of us today. Well, I will call today the day of celebration. Merry Christmas to you, our listeners. We want to say thank God for your life from the beginning of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and we are in December, rounding up the year with i can make it it doesn't matter what is happening you can make it you are welcome my brother thank you merry christmas yeah, merry christmas my brother <laughs> merry thank christmas you. so you are viewers yeah I want to say thank god for the gift of life mm. if you can see you look at us too, we have a lot of gifts around us it's just that i don't know how to get it to you but you can make it and one of these days yes. we are going to come in and we are going to open this pack here so that we can really get to share some of these things with us you are welcome <laughs> so i can make it you know you know the yeah. joy of christmas mm. you know one of the things i do during christmas is to pay my children's school fees <laughs> <laughs> i'm very so, conscious of that because so, christmas is only one day so that's <laughs> that in a way that's your christmas, that's my christmas gift, gift, gift to them <laughs> uh, that's my christmas gift to them so i make sure i pay their yes. school fees now that's why i pay their allowances that's and, why uh, any yeah. other thing that come can now yes talk can about it then. because it's just one day of course and i don't know the irony of people mm. taking everything about them mm. and begin to put everything because of christmas, christmas. everything is on hold and everything's you know, on mm. hold and yeah you ought not to be mm, so, so because it's going to cause a lot of challenge as a father mm. as a visionary as a man as a woman you should know that life is beyond christmas you don't need to put yourself I always ask for is it your birthday <laughs> do you really know the person that is celebrating the christmas the, the christmas because the greatest thing you can do you have been eating this rice and stew for a long time yeah it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's no different it. taste it's no different uh product it's no different rice it's no different stew it's no different meat a lot of people turkey, have you know. left, they have <laughs> lost the meaning the meaning of the of season of christmas yes. yes and we need to know and to uh to really do life with responsibility because actually if you ask me what we need to do mm. as parents as man as a family is to, to begin to live effectively effectively live effectively. effectively make impact to your partner make mm. impact in the life of your children mm. be deliberate about the things you do because life is not a mistake that's right so you begin to do deliberate be deliberate about your action be deliberate about your decision mm. be responsible about the things you want to do yeah know that nobody will do it for you it's like your head if you must bab your hair you must go to baba shop that's right nobody can bab your hair on your behalf so it's very important for us <laughs> to know that taking responsibility <laughs> is not actually what makes you responsible that's right and when we talk about i can make it before we start i want to read something i wrote down here mm. the greatest mistake you can make in life is to continue to fear you will you will not you if to continue to fear you will make one mistake okay so being conscious of mistakes yes i mean make you a know, mistake a mistake yes so if you the greatest thing you can is to be because i've always found most of the things mm. what you mm. fear fear you mm. Okay, so why not just be conscious of results? Why not just be conscious, you know, be possibly conscious that you can, I mean, that you can make it as, as well. <laughs> so the only thing you can do is to believe. Believe, and yes. And that's why we always say here, mm. those that does not believe, let them leave us alone that believe who believe so that we can so that we can, we can pursue the thing yes and make, and make it you believe that it's not possible <laughs> we that believe we believe it's that possible, it's possible leave us alone yeah let us try and make it and the greatest mistake you can make in life is to continue to feel you will you will make one mm. that's mm. a mistake in itself mm. where you have that feeling that yes that you will make one mm. you know eventually you will just make definitely it definitely because that's what you are making make it now but mm -hmm. if you if you if you if you if you know and feel and believe you will succeed mm. you will succeed you will succeed especially when you have a solid foundation yeah and that foundation we talk about is the god factor that's right now when you have that god factor 
You know, sometimes I come to a place in my life when I look around, I know it's only God that can do mm, it. That's right. Because with my strength, with my ability, you could not with have got my you have, No, no, you, you can't know, get there. A lot there of people yet. think that the ability and nobility, <laughs> uh, nobility, <laughs> in other words, what they know, yes, yes. What, they know. what they know, who, who they know. know, yes, yes. All those your nobility mm. cannot really make you anything. Mm. No, but once you put that God factor first, yeah. you know, God is not looking for a perfect man. He's not mm. looking for a perfect man. You know what God is looking for? Available. People that are available. available. And once you are available, you know, it now makes you, it now validates you. It perfects because of you, your yes. Because yes. of your, your availability. availability. Mm. So it's very important to us to know. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now, or what you are, what you are facing. You might be there, you say, I don't even have food to, I don't have rice. Don't worry, this is not your last day here. <laughs> you are not just the rice is still rice. there, yes. You are going to buy rice mm. for other people. Of course, eventually. You know, I was sharing with, uh, this. you know, you can make it. I was sharing mm. one year. Mm. Besides, it was around 1988. Mm. I just bought, either 88 or 89, 80, 80, 88. I bought my first color television. 1988. 88. <laughs> I, I, because then I, I went to, to the market. Um, the people were working together then. Mm. When they go to market, mm. they will go and but they buy black and white. So me, I told them that I will never buy black and white. And the only person that have black and that have color television was our boss. Wow. I told them me, I'm going to buy color that I, I like a colorful life. Mm. So but every time they will always <laughs> fight me. I say my eye is too big. Okay. I have eye for big thing. Why should I be talking yeah. about color television? television? I will go to market and price. All the one I saw was 1,350. The back one with then. remote. Yes, back 1,350. Mm. The one without remote mm. was 950 <laughs> and colored <laughs> and uh, without remote. <laughs> So <laughs> I, I started every time I go to market, I will go and check the price. That's right. When they want to go and buy their black and white, mm. then I was saving my money. You were just preparing, you were I gathering. Was yeah. I was gathering. Yeah. Yeah. So this way today, in November 1988, I went to market. I was able to buy, I actually wanted to buy the one remote. Mm. And I buy the one that my money could carry. Mm. It was Samsung 1500 without the remote without remote i didn't have the other money to balance to get the <laughs> for the remote, remote yet but once i own it it will go on mm. now because of that when it was christmas mm. i didn't have money to buy chicken, chicken. so i had and to rice. go to market yeah this one happened in lagos number 81 in kujero street or jota lagos mm. the house is there mm. in uh, ojota ikujore street number 81. my room number was room 29 downstairs a three-story unit mm. I went, I bought the television, I brought it home. Because I don't want people to come and come and spoil it. <laughs> I be, I make enemy with everybody in the house. <laughs> so when they are bought it, when they were greeting me, I didn't answer. Because I know that if I answer, they will follow they me. Will, I also follow the invitation. So yes. see my miss yeah. when I'm going to work. <laughs> so because of television now, I, I now made uh, my people, everybody in my company, those people that we used to gist together. Yes, you I made them your enemies. I don't gist to them. <laughs> So, but on the Christmas day, I I was not having, I have a, I think I was just having rice. My junior brother that came to come and visit me, I sent it to my friend out in the Keja. Then I now decided, I wore a nika, I wore a shirt. Then after sleeping, I got up and I went to Ogudu area to go and be looking at houses, fine, fine houses. I was for what to, for inspiration yes, or something okay yes. i was trusting that one mm. of these days i'm going to have a family a family i was not married then yeah then i have family uh, i want to have a house of my own i was those are the things that were running my mind so that evening i watched this i was shed and nika i went out into this ogudo estate i started walking <laughs> and i saw a kind of family that i think that of the id family mm. the man was there with two children mm. him and his wife stood mm. and there was a car that was parked mm. when i saw that picture i stood there i was looking at them i said one day me i will have a car i will have a house i will have my children this is the kind of life i want then i raised up my hand i started waving them they didn't return my wave <laughs> I'm sure they must have thought that you were a, a lunatic, not somebody. 
<laughs> who was looking for who was looking for Christmas Christmas? I'm good as I was moving somebody. I saw the picture. I saw the picture. Yeah. Oh God, one of these things. Now have those things that I thought in ninety eight have they come to pass? Definitely they have more they than have, enough. Hundred times more. Yes. Now I want to tell you something. You can make it when you think you can. If you think you cannot, yes, you are the one that think you cannot. But if you think you can with the God factor mm. in your life and you believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, you will see it. You might not know how. In a lot of time, what discourages people is when they begin to sit down to plan how. Mm. How? You might not know how. But you don't even know when. But if you dig the dishes, do your part, you will meet water inside the hole. Eventually. How did the water come from? I don't, I don't know. God can decide to blow the wind contrary and cause quake to be in your camp and you will bring negatively against what odds. human factor, mm. against scientific di you know, discovery, against man understanding. You can make it. If you look at your life today, you find out that this is a product of things step you have taken, the things you have believed, that is how it is. So that God factor, that's what we are going to be looking at today. So that you understand that without God, it's not good. Without God, it's not good. The beauty of life is in God. A lot of people think that, you know, making it is simply mean that, oh, you have a better car than your neighbor. No. Everybody has his own dream. Your life dream and my life dream is not the same. Gosh. So what that might call breakthrough might not be, that might just be your starting point. Mm. You are welcome to, I can I make it. it. And I know you can't just believe you can. The greatest mistake anybody can make is to continue to feel that they will make one. And I believe you are not a mistake. You are a success. Yes, right. You are a success. Merry Christmas again. So as the year is gradually you know winding up you know and um, rounding up we have a few tidbits for you we are sure that you will finish strong this year you yeah. will cross that mark you will take a good leap into the next year so we just have a few tidbits here and thank god my brother here has already begun you know with the god factor so we want to start by saying yes you should have faith in god believe god build your belief system strongly and let it tilt towards god god is the only one who can make a man's endeavor to be successful so you might be out there and maybe it's not looking you know like you planned it you know for this year you know maybe you know um, all your hopes uh, uh, you know and your aspirations for this year you know um, uh, um, have not come to pass uh, you know the way you want them we just want to let you know that the end of this year is only time and you still have time 2022 is still a very big you know measure for you to do things okay yeah they say he who has life he that has life that is what that is hope Again, he says that he that is joined to all the living, there is hope. Thank God. So we want to say, hinge your faith on God. You will finish this year strong. And who can tell? Who has told you that as you are crossing into, I mean, the last day of this year, that that breakthrough will not come? Who has told you that? No, with God, all things are possible. That phone call you've been expecting throughout this year for that breakthrough can still come believe god have faith in god okay yeah that good news you've been expecting throughout the year it can still come your way believe god okay the end of the year is not the end of man's life okay it's just a phase just a season that is just winding up okay and the year is winding up but it will not wind up with your life it will not wind up even with your dream you may have you know had a very short term you know a dream just for this year no problem go back improve on it okay if it didn't work out this time around just put some little adjustment into it and prepare to take a leap into the next year and i'm telling you you will overcome have mm. faith in god yeah have faith in god you know the mm. truth of it is that life can only be understood backward wow yeah mm. now before you came there was 
Okay. If you really want to go forward, you first of all understood life backward. What are the backward? Look at those that have come before you. Okay. What was their story? Yes. That is why the most important book in our library are the books of dead men. <laughs> Biographies, yes. you know, and all that yeah. history books and all that. Important yes. books we have. Some of the things we are talking about life experiences today, mm. life can only be understood backward, but you must live it forward. Forward. So mm. to, to 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 really understand that God factor, we need to go back. A man that does not think backward cannot really achieve greatness. There is nothing that you are doing today that somebody has not done. Mm -hmm. So the truth is that. You have to understand it backward by taking into uh, cognizant the things that have happened before mm. with men that have been here before. Mm. What happened to them? How mm. did they do it? Mm. So it takes a wise man to understand life backward and it takes a strong man to live it forward because wow. there must be continuity. Wow. Now, having to have understand that, that your life can only be understood backward, is for you to think. That is why, in a time like this, in a season like this, mm. you count your blessing. And you don't give count thanks. Your yes, you know that the calendar, thanks. many years ago, this well, this 12 months was not 12 months. It That's like, right. It was like 400 and something days they mm. have a year before. Mm. Now, it was sometime a decree was made. <laughs> yes, and, and, and then, then yes, they got so many to, to, to cover to the calendar. Cover yes. So, it's yes. just the calendar. But the calendar is not the number of your it's just the understanding of men mm. and how to get to know about date mm. but you see we talked about season and maturity here. Mm. now let me tell you some of the things we are doing continuously will cause you to get into your season of maturity right. and you will manifest That's so right. don't look at this christmas as oh year at end mm. where well, they said so <laughs> but your life has not end that's right now the, the 10 10 o'clock tomorrow the 11 o'clock tomorrow the it will stick up it will stick up and yes. whatever that is going to happen we still happen yeah so that thing that god wanted to mature you know when we talked about god as a life can live mm. without backward mm. let's take a look at those that have come before us mm. as it need to have said if i have seen mm. if i if i have seen, seen above, anything yes, yes beyond and above beyond, you yes by because standing on the I have, shoulder, yes yeah, now let's stand mm. on the shoulder of those that have come before us mm. how do they succeed mm. What happened? Mm. What was the what, what was the outcome of their life mm. when they when they built on mm. this God factor? Mm. They succeed. Mm. They break through. That's right. And they they they, they fulfill their life the dream. Yeah. Now the same story can be said about you because you have trusted God, because you have waited on Him. That's right. Because you have believed Him, then He said, "He that believe in Him will not mm. make haste." That's right. Now you take step as it's available to you. So as you take those steps, help will locate you. That's right. Think backward. Right. Check where you were, where 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 you are coming from. You know, many years ago, my father came to visit me. Then we just talking. My father made a parable mm. that who said the man that had problem with his reproductive system will have a child. Talkless of the child is not strong in the head. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's what my father said. <laughs> so we are saying something like that. Mm. Mm. The man that have problem with his reproductive system. Mm. Who, who, who said it? The way, nobody will expect we have child. <laughs> now you have the child. You said the child head is not strong. Can you imagine? Uh, what are you looking for? You should for? be thankful that. They should be thankful, thankful that. Yes. that is so when he, came yes, something came out of nothing. So the truth <laughs> of it is that you look at yourself. <laughs> just check which of the things you mm. have today. That you can say your effort mm. not you know there's a place in, that said to us in Korea and say what ha, what do you have that you didn't that receive you have not received that's right it doesn't matter how mm. even those in the political office you are begging for votes now what do you have that you did not receive <laughs> even though you think the election did they not vote you even when the novel you added to the number at least there was a number on ground for you to add to yes you see <laughs> let me tell you something learn to think backward when you think backward, you count your blessing. Don't always be too conscious of the things that you have not done. Mm. If you learn to appreciate, you will not depreciate in life. Learn to appreciate God. There are people that died during the lockdown. Their life was locked down. There are some people that became world figure during the lockdown. Ask God, in every season of life, that which is your portion in the land of the living will be released to mm. you. That's right. You should trust Him. Know that without him, you are nothing. 
I've come to recognize that in my life, that no matter what I am doing today, what I can do, what I have not been able to do, the God factor is the foundation for which we can build upon to have a bright future. It doesn't matter what is happening in your family. Maybe right now you are looking at, oh, you heard a lot of things about 2022. But I want to tell you, my belief in 2022, God will do the impossible with That's me. right. That's, That's right. That's my belief. That's so right. leave it backward. Look at people that have come before us. How do they succeed? Read their testimony. Check what happened to them. Look at what God did for them. Their testimony will be able to spare you to know mm. that God that helped them, it will also help you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Mm. You know, we're talking about you um, having, you know, faith in God, you know, and one of the, you know, dangers or one of the things that that will do for you is that it will take away fear, you know, from around you. Now, I hope you know that next year, I mean, is full of a lot, you know, of promises next year is you know full uh, you know with a lot of you know you know profits next year is full with a lot of fruits it's just full with a lot of life so you believe in god that you're going to add this year strong mm -hmm. that will check out fear from you mm -hmm. that will build confidence in you okay we we're just talking about looking back you know so that you can move forward yeah why not count your blessings that the, the, all the things you achieved i mean if you someone said that if if you think you have lost some things yeah. that god is the reason why you have not lost everything, everything. including wow. your life yes. including your life mm -hmm. and 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 why have you not lost your life because there is a purpose ahead mm -hmm. there's a purpose for 2022 mm -hmm. that's why you are alive we want to encourage you okay life continues life what life continues and people will say no oh, oh struggle continues no 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 struggle will not continue it is a life that will continue so you look at the things that god did sorry if you lost some things sometimes the things you even lost you know are purposeful yeah uh, maybe those things you yeah, lost you yes god for did you. yeah for good mm -hmm. everything you know walking you know god orchestrating putting you know things taking things out putting things in mm -hmm. everything he is orchestrating yes, so that they can all work together for your oh, good exactly. we want to encourage you have hope and believe in god every hope that you have like my brother said time i mean within for god time is nothing mm -hmm. okay yeah you know somewhere you know it is said that uh, before god one day one one day is like one thousand years yes. <laughs> and the one thousand years is like one day mm -hmm. who can who can calculate that calendar mm -hmm. i mean no but that's god calendar for you do you understand me so the things that you thought you couldn't achieve this year it might just god is just orchestrating okay, something you know so beautiful for you all right so uh, god may be putting some things you know and you know uh, uh, forming and orchestrating you know and shifting you know and moving things so that when you step into next year you will step into that year in a grand style you wow. will step into that year with, with gold with silver yes with great expectation that cannot be cut off we want to encourage you yes. go ahead it's a beautiful god factor mm. quite believe in god yeah. have hope in god and and if you have hope in him mm. you cannot be ashamed of course you can Shame never yes far from, far from you. you yes and take it as it come take it as it come one day at a time one that's step right. before another that's right you know our, we're not talking i talked about living effectively consciously do the things we are doing mm. take those both steps mm. trust god mm. that it will come to pass that's right you know if it's not god it's not good though that's Anything. right he's because god. he's because he's the good god so if he's, he's not good he's not he's god. god hallelujah and right. and, and the mm. blessing make it rich and mm. add no, no sorrow mm. life is not competition no matter what you are going through today no matter what is going through you mm. you need to be courageous and that god factor we bring things to pass That's i don't right. know we have something that yes i there. say it, it says yeah it says that um when you lack faith in god the devil may tamper with your ambition by subjecting you to what to fear or doubt mm -hmm. all right you know doubt is you know the root word for doubt is a double double mindedness mm -hmm. okay you have your dreams here and then your eyes are looking at you know some of that things you know mm -hmm. because you think that your dreams you know are, are not being fulfilled mm -hmm. like you expect 
please don't let don't let fear don't let doubt creep in okay and he says again he says he says but when you have faith in god you will become optimistic what is optimism optimism being optimistic is that you are positive you are so sure like we said earlier that your hope uh, what the hope that you have will not what will not make a shame it will not disappoint you yeah. it will not delude you your hope will not it will not fail it will not fail all right so you have become optimistic knowing the fact that god can make you successful mm -hmm. god is the one that holds success in his hands and, and and once you believe in him once you put your hope once you anchor your hope you know on god i'm telling you it will never break yes. no no nothing can break that uncle so you know break. it will never break we want to encourage you all right all right so please you will become optimistic knowing optimistic knowing the fact that god can make you what a success and we have always said here success is what relative all right somebody for somebody else success is building a house for somebody else for this year success is doing what is buying maybe paying rent or yes or buying a car mm -hmm. all right so whatever measure you've put to your success all right please don't compare your success with another man's word success your success is good enough that is the goal that you set for yourself and you achieved it congratulations mm -hmm. you are successful wow you are successful your success <laughs> is not my success it's not yes you are saying thank god yes I'm saying thank god. everybody's saying thank god where i can relate to that mm -hmm. when you give mm -hmm. a child of four years mm -hmm. yes. a plate of rice that's right and you give me the same plate of rice that yes. time we say thank you me i went to you may not yes because, because it's not yes it's not, that's it, yes that's yes that yes sure. every man's problem mm -hmm. is his size i don't have no aircraft <laughs> in the airport right now that need to that's because you're not sizable for it and <laughs> <laughs> it's not because those that bought it are sinners. Mm. It simply means mm. my job or my my or their purpose, God's purpose for them, yes, or God's assignment them. for them. Yes. Yeah, so yes. It's, it's not competition. Yes. So let's learn to appreciate where we are, so mm. that we don't depreciate where that's we are going. That's right. That's if right. If you don't appreciate where you are, you will depreciate in where mm. you are going. It's very <laughs> important that you learn to appreciate, mm. so that you will not depreciate. Success <laughs> is a progressive realization. That's right. Of the dream or goal that, that you set for yourself. That's right. Somebody there is successful drinking pami right now. <laughs> And that one is successful having more uh, uh, what they call side chicks side chicks and, and yeah, side beef, to yeah, to side yeah, side yeah, side. then some of them <laughs> success is how many bottles of beer can drink mm. some some people are betting mm. that's their own success mm. so mm. success is relative mm. nobody mm. is the who has the final say concerning mm. your success mm. in life it's mm. very important mm. the god factor mm. and if there's anything good mm. you know let the heart be troubled mm. trust in the lord that's right you know there's so there's something i, I saw in book of proverbs it yes. says mm. trust in the lord mm. with, with all, all your heart and lean and lean on your own on your own understanding, understanding. then he said in, in all, all your ways, ways acknowledge, acknowledge him and he will direct you they will direct you, you see the responsibility is your acknowledgement that's right knowing and be consciously about be deliberate and living effectively that's right be deliberate about your consciousness mm -hmm. that he is with me mm -hmm. and i'm not afraid mm -hmm. now with all the diseases that is going around the world today with the fear that they are sowing into your heart making you to believe that everything is against you the water you drink against you <laughs> the air you breathe against you everything <laughs> let me tell you something if the devil have power like he claim he has you will not wake up that's right but that you wake up this morning it means me that, that you are more powerful something that you have to <laughs> you are more it powerful does not have mm. what it takes to stop to you. Hold you that's right you are unstoppable mm -hmm. you can make it. you can make i it. see those dreams come to pass amen i see your expectation coming to manifest that's right i see you young man you are planning to marry I see you do your own wedding. Mm -hmm. I see you marry. You know, one of the things that have helped me is in the book of Philippians chapter 4. Mm. That's where my thought is. Yes. Whatever I can do all things. Good, yes, okay. Yes. Is lovely. lovely. Whatever things is, is beautiful, is pure. Whatever is is of virtue, mm. is your good report. If he has good this, report, he yes. said, think, think, put your mind on that's, these things. That's I think. Mm. I think prosperous. That's right. I think mm. I can make it. That's right. I, even though when I fall, I get up. I won't tell you I fall. <laughs> 
I will get up. <laughs> then I will move because you, see, you never fall. Yeah. Like you just only learn one way not to take that step. That's right. Now, the truth of it is that you need to encourage yourself. Nobody will encourage you. The, the environment might not encourage you. Your family background is not a good encouragement. Your certificate is not a good encouragement. Whatever, the place you are born is not a good encouragement. Listen to me. But that your background does not make your back to be on the ground. You have a God backup. That's right. Now, when that God factor is there, I tell you something. God will pick a stone and kick Goliath that is well skilled in all fighting equipment. Beautiful. But only one stone. Why? It's the God factor. When God back you up, nobody can take you away. Mm. I want you to know that today. Mm. If you go ahead as the year comes to an end, mm. pray with your family, believe God, take barrel and paper, write that dream. Write that. You know, there is there's this, this uh, one stop family center. I have a drawing in my office. Mm. And that drawing is there. Yesterday I wanted to bring it out. And I'm going to bring it. I will still look it again. Yes, sir. I have not gotten a land. Yes, I have not gotten, I have not even know the place, but I know it's a port road. <laughs> I know, the, but I don't know the very uh, the spot. I know it's a port, road. port road. So I'm trusting God. No, should the case you want to help me out, it's about uh, <laughs> I'm trusting God for like five acre <laughs> big place where mm. we can have one store family center, mm. the place where I will retire to. When I'm 60, I'm going to be in that building doing what God wants me to do. I wanted to know today that your dream is what makes your life valuable. Mm. Your dream. Look at it. Every one of us, we came to this world with a dream. If we are not needed, your father released about 60 million spent cells. It's only you. The rest escorted you to success. You are special. And you came into this world. The rest laid down their life so that you can come. You are I believe that you have something. The remaining spent cells cheer you up to win. You came into this world. Let no devil deceive you and tell you you cannot succeed. You can, can succeed. make it. You can make it. That's so right. don't be discouraged. Don't let anybody talk you down. The people that people have often say cannot make it have always made it. Why? Because they believe in themselves. Well, Merry Christmas. With me in the studio, brother Kalusus and myself, we say we love you. We love you. I want to thank God for your life and That's the time right. you have spent with us today. Until we see you again in another edition, this is Simon and Simon Tan, brother Kalusus saying, you, you can, can make it. it. Merry Christmas again. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Thank you.